hello, hello, and welcome on in. Come on in and welcome to another Bible study with the Feed My Sheep Foundation. We're continuing a study that we started in uh, Chronicles 1, the first Chronicles, and we are in chapter 12. This chapter is going to take us over into uh, looking at how many tri how many tribe members there were like when they first started and, and how they would go to war and whenever they had to go to war. Okay, so uh, we're going to start with chapter 12. We're in First Chronicles. It starts off, Now these are they that came to David to Ziglag while he, while he yet kept himself close to because of Saul, the son of Kish. And they were among the mighty men, helpers of war. So they were armed with bows and could use both the right hand and the left. Uh, and they herald stones and shooting arrows out of a bow, even of Saul's brothers of the Benjamin. So uh, that's telling us here too, though, that Saul is, he was of the Benjamin tribe. And so these men were very mighty and uh, they could use both hands they were left handed they could use their left and right hand together so that you know that they're like a double trouble you know you know because uh, they can use both hands at the same time so then it goes on the chief was a high czar okay then it goes into different names uh, you know, I'm going to skip around different verses because it just has like different names of different people. But here it picks back up here at verse eight. It says the Gadites, uh, they separated themselves unto David into the whole to the wilderness, and they were men of might, men of war, fit for the battle that could handle shield and buckler, whose faces were like the faces of lions. And they were as swift as the rose upon the mountains. Now that was the tribe of the Gadites, the tribe of Gad. So if we go back over into Genesis chapter 49, Gad is uh, verse 19. So it's chapter 49, verse 19, it talks about the tribe of Gad. And Gad is, a. this is what uh, Jacob prophesied over that tribe. He said, Gad is a troop shall, uh, shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. Okay, so uh, he said, Gad, is a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome them at the, at, you know, at the end. So uh, that was what his dad, Jacob, prophesied over him, the tribe of Gad. I guess maybe that they would be overcoming many battles, but they would eventually, you know, come out on top. And so, uh, on this, going back over to First Chronicles uh, chapter 12, it's just going into basically naming just a few of the people that are part of the tribe of Gad, the Gadites. And then it tells us here in verse 9, now they had an individual named Obadiah also. And their tribe because there's another tribe that had an Obadiah and Obadiah has a book in the Bible and he's a prophet that God would speak to and uh, from one of these tribes because like I stated then just like there's many other tribes too that may have like two people with the same name and maybe a tribe of Benjamin and, or a tribe of Judah because they were all really cousins relatives you know so then it picks back up here, verse 14, it says, These were the sons of Gad, and they were captains of the hosts. One of the least was over a hundred, and the greatest over a thousand. These are they that went over Jordan in the first month, when it had overflown all his banks, and they put to flight all of them of the valleys, both toward the east and toward the west. Okay, and there came of the children of Benjamin and Judah to to the hold unto David. Okay, and see, Benjamin, the tribe of Benjamin, and uh, we talked about that tribe too. We can take a look at the prophecy that Jacob said over them. Uh, if we go back over to Genesis 49, and then Benjamin, 
let's see here, Benjamin is verse 27. So that's Genesis 49, verse four, uh, 27. And this is the prophecy that uh, their dad, Jacob, made over him. He said, Benjamin shall raven as a wolf. In the morning he shall devour the prey, and at night he shall divide the spoil. So that was a prophecy he spoke over him. That tribe of Benjamin. And we know the one over Judah because that's the tribe that David and uh, Jesus Christ came through. And he basically prophesied. And he, we can see how that tribe for sure, you know, everything he said about the tribe of Judah happened. Because he said here in uh, Genesis 49 verse 8, he says, Judah thou art he whom thy brother shall praise thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies thy father's children shall bow down before you Judah is a lion's whelp from the prey my son thou art going up he stooped down and he couched as a lion and as an old lion who shall rouse him up the skeptry shall not depart from Judah nor a lawgiver from between his feet until Shiloh come and until him shall the gathering of the people be. Binding his coil unto the vine, and his ass is caught unto the choice vine. He washed his garments in wine, and his clothes in the blood of grapes. And his eyes shall be red with wine, and his teeth white with milk. Glory, hallelujah. So that was the prophecy given over Judah the tribe that Christ Jesus came through, of course. So then we go on to verse, uh, back over to First Chronicles, and we're in verse uh, 17. David went out to meet them, and he answered and said to them, If you be come peaceably unto me to help me, uh, my heart shall be, you know, happy. But if you be, if you come to betray me to my, you know, to my enemy, seeing there is no wrong in my hands, the God of our Father look upon you and rebuke you. Now that's what David said to Benjamin. The children of Benjamin and Judah when they came to meet him. He said, uh, Then the Spirit came upon Amasa, who was chief of the captains, and he said, uh, Thine are we, David, and on thy side, a son of Jesse, peace, peace be unto thee. So, you know, they wanted to let David know that, of course, you know, because they're all family, he would, you know, that they were on his side. And, uh, then it goes on to say David received them and made them captains of the band and there fell some of Manasseh and uh, to David and we know that Manasseh and uh, Ephraim were the sons of Joseph was it Joseph yeah sons of Joseph from the tribe of Joseph I should say and uh, let's see here which again would be all you know their family okay so then it says and there fell some of Manasseh to David when he came with the Philistines against Saul to battle but they helped them uh, they helped them not for the lords of the Philistines upon uh, advisement sent him away saying he will fall to his master Saul to the jeopardy of our heads and okay so that's whenever they would he came to with the Philistines against Saul to trying to fight David okay then let me see and again like I said I'm going to skip around different verses because it's just either going to name give a bunch of names and not really go into any detail uh, about anything in particular okay uh, of course they helped David because they were all family Then it goes into talking about the different numbers here. Verse 23. And there are the numbers of bands that were ready armed to war and uh, came to David, to Hebron, to turn the kingdom of Saul to him, according to the word of the Lord. So the children of Judah that bear shield and spear were 6,800 ready armed to war. Then it goes on to name each tribe. Simeon was ready to war. Levi. And of the different tribes, and then it gives the number of uh, how many people came with the tribe, and they were all ready for war. 
and it goes on i'm going to skip around all the different tribe names and go down to verse 38 because it says all these men of, of war that could keep rank came with a perfect heart to hebron to make david king over all israel and all the rest also of israel were of one heart to make david king so they all came together at this particular time in this chapter to make David because uh, David was supposed to take over leadership from Saul and become king and so they all the tribes came together to uh, reverence him and to celebrate the fact that he was getting ready to do that so then it says 39 here verse 39 and there they were with David three days eating and drinking for their brothers had prepared for them uh, moreover they that were near them even unto Issachar and Zebulon and Naphtali all the other different tribes and it talks about how they came and brought meal cakes uh, different stuff that they brought just to celebrate uh, him coming into being the leader over the tribes of uh, the children of Israel and uh, taking over Saul's place as leader okay so that is going to give us the conclusion of our bible study for first chronicles chapter 12 where we just basically took a look at the different tribes and uh, looked at how they celebrated david whenever he came into leadership over them after saul had to, had to uh, step down okay so until the next Bible study, God bless you, and I will see you then.